firepower. And here's the biggest of them all, the new 280 millimeter gun. Millions saw it for the first time in the presidential inaugural parade, the cannon that can fire atomic shells. The most powerful gun in the history of warfare, but in comparison with giant weapons of the past, she handles like a baby buggy. 84 feet long, but capable of right angle turns, whipping around corners with the agility of a hook and ladder. She can do 35 miles an hour on the highways and turn off them cross country to get just about anywhere she's headed on her own. Complete mobility for the 85 ton rig of enormous tactical value when the great gun is called into action. Suspended between its cabs, the gun can turn practically in its own length. A great help for fast maneuvering in tight spots. The fore and aft cabs of the gun operate independently, but keep in communication by telephone. Goliath guns of history, like World War I's Big Bertha, required railroad cars and hundreds of troops to set them up. So superbly balanced and designed is the 280 that a six-man crew, just six men, are needed to set this giant up for business. From absolute scratch, they can complete the emplacement of the gun and have her primed for firing in a little under 20 minutes. Balanced on three jacks and a turntable, her weight and size present no handling problems when released from the support of the cabs. and clear gun for firing preparation. Each of the six-wheeled 375 horsepower engine cabs handle a real payload on the gun. The individual tonnage is more than double that carried by the largest freight truck on a western highway. It's a long, long way from stem to stern. The barrel alone is 40 feet in length. First job, to get the gun's tube from transporting position to firing position. Power for that operation is furnished by cab number one. And to face her around to the direction of the target, requires the manpower of only five of her crew members. So superbly balanced is the monster on her turntable. The gun will traverse a full 360 degrees in azimuth, a complete circle. Most of the operations for readying the gun, though, are accomplished automatically with the juice supplied by a portable generator. but no dependence on an electrical power supply for operation in battle. In the event of power failure, all of the gun's controls can be operated manually. The barrel can be lifted to fire at an angle of 55 degrees elevation. And the smoothly geared mechanism takes less than 30 pounds pressure to raise and depress the enormous tube. and ready to load her. A winch and carriage are needed to handle the huge shell. No, not the atomic variety this time but the procedure would be just the same to load up with the kind that raises a mushroom of destruction. Just a conventional 280 millimeter shell, if you can call a projectile this big conventional, a shell that will travel 20 miles and land on a pinpointed target.
squarely on the tray, and from here on, it's untouched by human hands. The shell is driven home by hydraulic rammer. And next, the heavy powder charge to propel it. Her up. Primer. Lanyard. Elevation. Azimuth. And she's ready to fire. The great gun, the biggest of them all. Firepower from the world's first gun to speak with a fury of bursting atoms. Firepower, a big voice ready to sound off if needed for democracy. Firepower, the job of the artillery to swap steel and high explosive for the lives of our fighting men.